Hey guys, it's Felicia Z, and on this segment, I'm going to bake a red velvet cake. If you're interested in any of the tools that I'm using in this segment, you could find that information in the link below. So there's quite a few ingredients for the red velvet cake. I'm gonna go through them really quickly, and of course the full ingredient list is located on the link below. So there's flour, there's vanilla extract. This is really good vanilla extract. If you're interested in that, I have that information on my website as well. Red food coloring, baking soda, cocoa powder, eggs that are at room temperature. These have to be at room temperature. Butter that's at room temperature. Leave this out two to three hours in advance. It has to be softened. Salt. Baking soda. White vinegar. Sugar. And buttermilk. Keep this at room temperature as well. Using a 10 inch pan, you can also use a nine inch pan, two six inch pans, and a nine by 13. I'm gonna start by greasing and lining this with parchment paper. You can use shortening or softened butter to grease the pan. Line it with a parchment round and use a baking spray with flour. And just whisk all the ingredients. I'm gonna sift the dry ingredients on wax paper or parchment paper. It's a lot easier to clean up as opposed to having that additional bowl to wash. You know, the prep work looks a little tedious when you're baking, but it's necessary. If you're looking to get a nice, tender crumb, you have to put the time into it and have a little bit of patience. And the results are going to be magnificent. I have my room temperature butter in the bowl. I'm gonna start it off on a low speed. Slowly drizzle in the uh, sugar. Once the fat and the sugar are well incorporated, just scrape the bowl, scrape it well. We speed it up. And leave it like this for about two to three minutes. Once you've incorporated enough air into the mixture, the color should lighten and it should have like a light and fluffy texture that's similar to, I would say, marshmallow fluff. Add the food coloring and vanilla extract and mix on low. Scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl. Add the eggs one at a time, allowing it to absorb before adding an additional one. This is where you alternate between the dry and wet ingredients. You'll start with the dry ingredient and end with the dry ingredient. Also, make sure to mix on low. Combine the baking soda and distilled vinegar. Pour into batter and mix on low for 10 seconds. Use a spatula to smooth out the batter in the pan. Place the cake in a 350 degree preheated oven. Before inverting the cake, allow it to cool on a cake rack for at least 15 minutes. Allow the cake to cool for at least two hours before you begin frosting. This easy and delicious cream cheese frosting can be found on the link on your screen. Hope you enjoyed this red velvet cake segment and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.